Right, so welcome to another video everyone. Uh, I'm out tonight with English Woodsman. Uh, we're at a local-ish um, campsite run um, by a friend of mine, uh, Greg Hoyle. Flash his name up. Uh, you can message him on Facebook and come and see you. This is Hamworth Wood uh, in Keithley. Uh, great little site, the West Yorkshire Bushcraft Group uh, that I was part of uh, site camping here. Uh, and they're the ones that actually got me into hammocking. Um, I'm actually on the first trees that I ever hammocked on as well, so a bit of nostalgia. Um, but yeah, I mean tonight I'm in the snug pack uh, hammock cocoon and all weather shelter. It's getting quite cold, so hopefully I'm going to be testing it to its limits. I've got my sleep suit with me, uh, but that is it. I've just got the cocoon, uh, no sort of air mat, anything like that. Just my uh, sleep suit. Now I'm fortunate enough that my wife owns a 4x4 vehicle and we've managed to get the car all the way down here which has helped Dan out immensely because he's out tonight with his uh, he's got a Pomoli tent and his heavyweight stove uh, so it's obviously helped him out a little bit but yeah that's uh, me set up I'm gonna go show you Dan's set up and then I'm gonna put on a little snack I think I'm getting a bit hungry So this is what uh, Dan's in tonight. Uh, now neither him or me can remember the name of this tent, uh, but um, our good friend, the vegan outdoorsman, this is actually his tent. So he's going to be doing a, a full in-depth review of this tent on his channel. So uh, as always, there'll be a link in the description to go over and check it out. But this looks a really nice piece of kit. You can see on the inside there, just sort of coming down by the doors, sort of here, it's all sort of silver, silver lined. So obviously it'll reflect heat back in and things like that. So it's going to be a really sort of good hot tent test for him tonight. Uh, so he's in that and obviously then I'm over there just in my uh, hammock. <laughs> right, well, as you can see, it's got a bit dark. Uh, we bumped into Greg, the uh, landowner. He's been up here planting a few trees. So obviously there won't <laughs> be any sort of near anywhere significant for a good 10, 15, 20 years or so. Uh, but yeah, he's been down here planting some trees, uh, just chatting to us about uh, life in general and obviously what he's done with the site and what he's planning to do with the site. Um, he's got an archery range uh, built in now. Uh, there's a spot for camper vans. He's done a hell of a lot of work. He's widened the bridge so it's easier to get cars across the little uh, stream or beck, whatever it was. So yeah, he's done a lot of work um, improving the site. But yeah, it's uh, drop dark. So I'm just going to bang on these chicken nuggets that we've uh, got, where have I put them, show you. Just some uh, spicy batter chicken nuggets, just give me and Dan a bit of a, a snack to crack on with and then uh, we'll cook properly later on. So yeah, let's uh, spin it around. Just brought with us uh, a couple of bags of dry kindling just for this. Uh, Dan's got his stove obviously, but we brought all wood because uh, as he just mentioned Greg to us there, he didn't like people cutting down the trees and things like that. If he's done some work and cut down a tree, you know, I'm going to leave it lying around for this to, uh, to burn and use. But, you know, don't go doing it on your own. Just before I get this lit, you can see now that I've put the uh, stove on my old faithful pan. I've just got one of these little fire lighters from Daniel. There we go. Now we'll just sort of rest that in there. Get that to take everything else while it's there. So I just brought with me some oil and then I brought uh, some what they call them little funnels so I can get the oil back in the bottle afterwards. So I'm just gonna fill this up, put the entire bottle in I think. Cool. 
on the right, a little trip on this, isn't it, my little zebra cam? <laughs> right to one side a second. Yep, yeah, and we'll uh, hang it on and let it start to warm up. Right, well then, so just while the oil's warming up for the chicken nuggets, I'm going to do the prep work for my meal tonight. So I'm just going to have, uh, quite simply, steak, um, potato and onions. The steak I've got um, from a local butcher uh, that we've been going to for years as a family. Um, Taplins, if you're in sort of Bradford area, you'll sort of know of Taplins. If you don't know of Taplins, uh, go down, uh, tell them where you've heard it. Might get a free steak next time I go down, but I doubt it. <laughs> but no, Keith and Rachel who uh, run the sort of family business have been, my mother-in-law basically, have been going there for absolutely years. So, got a good relationship with them anyway. Yeah. Do uh, some prep work for some chips. You don't need to be uh, McDonald's fry style, do they? All skinny chips. That oil sounds to be uh, getting warm now. Anyone else thought about doing chips while you're out camping? You know, I know what I like to eat, and so that's why I get on with it. You know, I don't know what I like. So I just cook it while I'm out. It's only the same as cooking it when you're at home, isn't it? Right, so that looks to be uh, going rather nice now. <laughs> Luckily I've got my fire gloves so I'm going to be able to get that off. And we'll check on the oil. I just realised as well, you know, you can hear probably a dan in the background. You know, we are here together, but we're doing completely his own thing. As a lower, I consider as best mates. You know, sometimes it's nice to still do your own thing, even though you are together. I think what keeps it fresh, to be honest. He's in his hot tent. I think he's started cooking now. So what I might do is I might just fry off all these uh, chicken nuggets and just add them to my meal as well. The only problem I've got at the moment is my pan is <laughs> underneath. All fearful. Might see if Dan has gone on. In fact, I actually have a, a pan in the car. Mm. Do I? No. Better not use one of my mother in law's pans that Dan's just repaired at work, had I? 
bad now. She's got the chicken nuggets out. Same to them. Hmm. Very nice. I'm going to start to do the chips now, I think. Just use one full potato. So I thought I were recording but I clearly want So look at the size of this piece of meat Again this is from uh, Taplin's in Bradford uh, Family run butchers Ideal but look at the size of that cut Absolutely perfect So I've seasoned it up with a bit of steak seasoning A bit of piri piri and a bit of Himalayan salt and black pepper mix uh, Just on one side at the moment Get that Sort of kneaded in Awesome. Managed to uh, free up my pan as well. So we're going to bang that straight in there. Got the chips on in the uh, zebra can at the moment. But we're going to take them off and uh, do the steak um, and then re sort of finish off the chips very shortly. So the chips are going well, but they're just part cooking them. Um, and then I'm going to do the steak. I wish I'd take these off and do one thing at once at the moment because I've only got the little wood stove. But yeah, they are sort of cooking really nicely. We'll give them a couple more minutes, get them browned off a little bit, and then put the steak on. It's right, so they look to be at a level where I want to bring them off. It is a bit hot to be grabbing, so I'll just get my glove. Place that just at the side, keep them warm there. Get the old, old faithful on there. Right, so I think the steak's just about done. I'm going to take that off, put the chips back on, finish them off. See what I could do actually. back on finish them off and then enjoy put me a stir fry veg on I just thought about building fire up a little bit better so 
going to have a nice fire in this. Them chips look to be done now. I'm just going to stick the steak back on just to warm it. And then I'm going to add the chips just into the pan with the steak. No airs and graces. Right then. Let's have a day with these chips, eh? Good chips then. Be down. <laughs> oh, they are good chips as well. <laughs> oh, mad chips and that. We're a potato half an hour ago. This. Oh, they're nice. Compliments at Cremator, yeah. Oh, it takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> Gravy for tea sounds good. <laughs> Not wrong with chips and gravy, pal. Oh, nice then. Mm. Yeah, no one if you want. No, I don't want to starve you. <laughs> starve me? <laughs> Who's the size of this? Right, and then obviously got the oil to one side still. Uh, we've still got a few chicken nuggets left, so we might do them later on, but I might do them on Dan's stuff. I'm going to leave the oil in the pan for now. But as I said earlier, I have brought my little um, funnel. Put the oil back in the bottle. So, I brought my knife, I brought my food, I brought my hat, I brought my gloves. Didn't bring a fork. <laughs> this is going to be fun eating steak and chips with, you, with a knife in your fingers. And chips are really good. Show you one. Cooked to perfection. Just starting to go crispy on the outside. Still nice and soft in the middle. It's not what you're interested in, is it? It's got you a bit of meat off. Obviously it's right from edge. And then you can see here that it's starting to go on medium. And here it's still rare, which is more into the middle, which is what I wanted. It's gonna be a perfect bit of meat. That is awesome. The seasonings have just all blended in together. So the steak spice and the piri piri just mm. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. Might have a drink or three. See you in a minute. Just uh, Dan talking uh, away, making his video. And it's just made me realise, I forgot to mention it earlier on, I've hit 6,000 subscribers. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. You know, to get to that point as well, just before Christmas, um, absolutely ecstatic. So yeah, just keep coming. If you've enjoyed the video so far as well, just give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing. Uh, but yeah, thank you so, so much everybody that has subscribed from number one all the way through to number 6083, I think I'm on at the moment. So yeah, cool. Thanks very much. Didn't think I was that hungry, but I've just demolished that. Still got some of the onions left. <coughs> I'll stay in my hand as well. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I've absolutely demolished that. Oh, excuse me.
excuse me. I think I'm a lot hungrier than what I expected. I think we were stopping and talking to Greg for a little bit. It sort of threw out the plan that I'd done to have the uh, chicken nuggets as a snack. Uh, I ended up just having like chicken nuggets as part of the meal really. Uh, I was eating them as the rest were cooking so yeah kind of threw out the little plan but never mind best laid plans and all that so yeah we still got probably about 15 chicken nuggets to go out later on that should put us on warm us up before bed uh, yeah speaking of bed if you've not already i am in the snug pack cocoon tonight um i have got my sleep suit in the car the car's about 20 30 foot uh, over my shoulder uh, but i've got my sleep suit with me um, but i'm going to try it and not use it I'm just going to put my base layers on and try and see if I can get a good temperature rating from this cocoon. I don't actually have one on the website because there are a lot of factors uh, to consider when you're using insulation and obviously uh, your own body heat for example. I'm quite a warm sleeper, uh, I suffer from hypertension so I am quite a warm sleeper um, and then yeah there's um, an insulated mat um, you know, pyjamas or nightwear, whatever you want to be wearing and then if you've got a blanket in there as well but I have literally just got the cocoon and I'm going to put my um, my base layers on and that is it I'll have the snug feet on though because they're handy for nipping out for a pee because they're just they're not hard bottomed but they're sort of protective bottoms so you can just sort of run three or four steps from your hammock and have a tinkle and then jump back in right I'm going to uh, clean up and then get this uh, fire prepped I think It's on there somewhere, mate. Next to me, little pan. Yeah. Put the blade away, Scott. Better not fall on my dinner. Shouldn't have Break up, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
solid this one. There we go. That'll keep up. I wait too long so I need to put my phone on charge so I'm glad it won't Alright And later Alright uh, bye down love you Bye Get up! <laughs> right, I'm just going to take one out. Put it. Not just yet, I don't think. I don't think it's quite ready. A couple more minutes, I think. Put it there if you do that. Right, well, it's been another couple of minutes. So let's just have a look at these now. To be done, don't they? I think it's time we took these out, buddy. I want your chicken nugget meal from McDonald's this bro. <laughs> <laughs> you get all fat with McDonald's ones as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't even count them, I bet there's nearly 20 there. Well, a couple of hours have passed since I uh, last recorded a little bit of footage. Uh, I have put my sleep suit on just because I didn't want to. Uh, why suffer when you're out? You know, 
it's all right testing your gear and testing yourself to the limits but why suffer so i've just got the cocoon and my sleep suit on nothing else um look at my breath you see it yeah it's a uh, quite a chilly night got a lot of condensation already on the underside of the tarp and that's just because my warm body's now come into this cold climate been out by the fire for a couple of hours uh, had a really good night just sort of chatting putting world to rights with the uh, chicken nuggets as a bit of a snack had a couple of drinks and yeah just burnt every bit of wood we had with us Dan's kept a bit for his hot tent though as I was saying earlier, who's worse off? Him in the hot tent or me in the cocoon? Oh, at least I'm off the floor though, he's on the floor. <laughs> anyway, my nose is a bit chilly. So I'm going to uh, get my head down, get some kip, and I'll uh, see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> I've just realised as well, this is probably going to be my last camp of 2021. So yeah, definitely the uh, last time at camp. So yeah, uh, first of all, thank you very, very much for uh, all the support for the last 12 months. Really do appreciate it. Obviously I've hit that target of 6,000. Uh, I've set myself a target of 10,000 by... Uh, this time next year so if you're not yet subscribed please do consider subscribing yeah it's uh, been an awesome year and a terrible year at the same time what can you do <laughs> right I really am going to get some sleep now see you in a bit really well but as you can see it's cold still I uh, was very glad that I made the decision to put my sleep suit on and not just sleep in my bare slides when I first got in or after I finished sort of saying goodnight I laid down properly I could start to feel a few cold spots in here so I was quite glad it was like up by my shoulders and sort of on the, the calves so I'm really glad that I put the sleep suit on because you know it, it eliminated it in, in minutes it sounds like it's rained a little bit overnight uh, I've just been woken up by an owl and a pheasant oh, I can see my calves still there so all's good not heard from Dan yet, but he's probably awake, so I'll uh, give him a shout in a second. But yeah, no rush this morning, so I think I might have another 40 links. Well, Dan's up and about now, and we're like five more minutes. <laughs> Oh, so I'm going to have to get up, I'm going to do the tear down and then I'm going to go around and show you some of the wood in the daylight. Obviously been, what, 19th of December now. We've uh, not got much daylight when we got here. So I'll uh, run around and show you a few bits that Greg's been working on. And uh, yeah, All right, so I'll get up and tear this down. Glad of these last night. New Yeti socks from feet. 
half way up the calf. But they're uh, really, really warm socks. So they've been uh, brilliant, adding a few degrees more to what I had uh, anyway. So the snug feet and the feet combination. Absolutely brilliant. Keeping me touches warm. Right, it's going to be a quick tear down. Just literally throw this in the car. I don't need to roll it up because I've got to wear it out when I get home. So I'll record that and I'll see you in a minute. So just there, I'm going to wander around site now to show you where we are here. You see where them rocks are? All this used to be like a bit of a, a gully. See how it's rolling around by them rocks there? And uh, Greg's been working hard to fill it in. Basically gives us all a bit more flat ground to camp in. And then as we go up here, sort of a shortcut to archery range. See the uh, fence panels, maybe let's have a look there. See the fence panels there. This is uh, archery slash shooting range. Sort of benches around the outside. And then you have your open target there, so it's dug all this out to make that as well. <coughs> and then, see a little toilet block. Further up the hill is like a, a wood store and a couple of porter cabins up there and then back down this way to the camp So yeah, this is what I'd call like the top area because it's uh, just raised up from where we are down there look. but yeah, this is a uh, couple of spots for hammocks, a couple of spots for tents a little bit of a picnic table and then sort of overlooking where we've been last night. Well, there you go, just a quick tour of uh, the site and all the work that Greg's done uh, over the last four years that I've been coming here. He's been sort of carrying out that work. Um, watch this ninja. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's, as you can see, he's done a lot of work to sort of keep it going and sort of improve it for people, improve access to it. So, uh, yeah, link to the website page and the Facebook group and everything else that Hamworth Wood are part of will be in the description box below. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, get finished off and then we'll wrap this video up. Yeah, this has been uh, another video of me hammock camping with the English Woodsman. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel by pressing this here in the middle and leave some videos either side for you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Merry Christmas.